Hey girlies, I'm back. I was trying to see if I can grab a, a palette real quick to show y'all something. Guess I should have looked for it first, huh? Especially when I don't know where things are. Hold on, I think I found it. Okay, so, um... I was first introduced to this brand by Tremood, and I got my first item from a Tremood box, and it's the Kimchi brand that looks like this. I wanted this box, um, Tremood box just for this palette, and that's the bag. I don't know, I, if you have uh, watched my videos for a while, you know I have a palette obsession. I don't know, I just like palettes. Not too big, not too small, but yeah, because... I've seen like some like magnetic palettes. I think uh I think is it give me glow has like this I don't want that. Like that's too much. Like um I don't even want to show that that's kinda controversial. But like, you know, like the Norvina palettes, the big ones, uh, that's yeah, about that size or like the Morphe 35 palettes, but nothing bigger than that. And this is what the palette looks like. And it's, like I said, the pants are huge. I haven't used it, as you can see. But I wanted to give the brand a try. And I think the time of my order, it was like a 30, 40% off type sale. Sorry, I got it from this store, but I, I'm going to have to relocate it because... I got other stuff to add. And it came in this box with the their logo tape. Sorry, sorry about that, y'all. I'm going to have to edit that because I think I showed my address. Not that somebody really be checking for me, but you never know. Um, And this is what the inside looks like. I actually wanted to get all the palettes, but I'm like, nah, chills. Like, I got to tell my, like, I'm still working on that part. Like, I don't have to have everything. Um... This is a, it's a sticker saying that they are a proud partner of the Trevor Project. We are committed to donating 2% of our uh, sales prices to the Trevor Pro Project to help prevent suicide among LGBTQ youth. So, just to let you know, just in case with some people they don't, you know, y'all know. And got a little sticker. But if you buy from this company, you got to already know because he does drag. So, I mean, let me not say that. Take that back. But you can kind of assume it's associated with that because of that, I should say. And I have nothing against that. My cousin does drag. I've mentioned that too. And do you. Whatever makes you happy. I don't judge no more. So... Um, I think I had to do like $30 to get free shipping. So, uh, I opted to get like this, these palettes that are very similar to, um, the, uh, ColourPop 9-pan palettes. But that didn't get me to that threshold. Let me see something. Yeah, that didn't get me to the, the free shipping threshold. So, um, I've been trying to prepared to go back to work and i wanted to get um i've been watching a few videos and stuff like that looking into a few products trying to find something that can um have as to make set my makeup to have less transfer as possible and um it has some good reviews on this setting spray setting sprays i really don't need like i have a ton of setting sprays so this is it is some matte setting spray, of course. And this is um, 105 ml or 3.55 fluid ounces. And that's what it looks like. Let's see what it smells like. Smell like something like it's spoiling i ain't going i mean that's what it, i'm sure it don't last on the face but the smell i know some people try to 
try to keep it as clean as possible and not adding too many fragrances. But if it got a funky smell, you got to drop something in it to make it a little pleasant. Because it's always a chance that the smell can linger longer than expected. So, anyway. So, I'm going to take the sleeves off of all of these. And they are numbered, so we're going to do them in order. So, everything was packaged very well. So we're going to start with number one. This is GC901 in the color Virgin Mojito. And this matches the um, the setting spray. Um, and it's giving me um, ColourPop vibes. And also remind me, uh, this may be a good substitute for shouldn't even mention this in this video but the bh cosmetic um pistachio palette that bh y'all barely got hits okay y'all had a hit with that uh collection and basically told people get it we that's it y'all need to make that permanent so y'all can stay on the map because y'all haven't had nothing like that good since i can't remember <laughs> So that's that. The pan sizes, let me compare it to because when I did open one of them just to see, um, you know, because I couldn't wait, you know. Okay, so yeah, I'm not tripping. The pan size is smaller than ColourPop, so you can see the size difference right there. But the palette is bigger, so I would prefer a smaller palette with bigger um pan sizes because i think that would kind of work out to be cheaper for the brand as well so i'm gonna give these um a try i was actually they have been on my radar and i i'm on i'm on macari a lot because i am a seller on macari and i saw somebody post those and they wanted like Sorry. They wanted like $65. Something like that. And I was like, since I have credit, you know, that might be good. Some said to go check on the site and they had that stuff. I said, oh, I, I'm glad I didn't because I would have been, I would have been mad. So, that's that. The second one is Mango Tango. That's a fun palette right there. This kind of reminds me of um, Color Rain, that um, bright palette that I thought was a limited edition, but they keep bringing it back every time it restart. But it's giving me that vibe, not all the way, but it's, this is like for the price of that one palette, if you catch yourself, you can get all these and, you know, be fine. And that's that. And that's also, this is also a better option if you're trying to build your collection. Because when I started building my collection, it was all about quantity. I ain't even going to hold you. Quantity. If I can find something at the Dollar Tree, collection at the Dollar Tree, I was at whatever. That's that's just how, I just felt like I wanted to be like the people on YouTube. I wanted a, not huge, but I wanted a collection. That's what my goal was in the beginning. And now it's like, let's scale back some. <laughs> Um, this next one is Juicy Velvet. It, let me, let me not say that. It wasn't only about that. Like, this is like a hobby of mine as well. And my line of work, this goes with that as well. So, it all ties together. Oh, hold on. That, that middle oh I oh my god y'all this is this one is this is it right here this ruby slipper that is very pretty this golden glow and that mossy color I like I like this whole palette not sure if I could create a for me if I could create a wearable like everyday look with just this palette Cause it's no mats and I gotta have a mat and I don't have no brow bone but I'm hoping this this would tie with the last one but so far 
this is my favorite one but i know the last one is probably gonna be my favorite one because it's that's it's the everyday and this one is in juicy chocolate malt but i don't know hold on i might have spoke too soon let's see okay cannoli that is pretty temptation is pretty okay but it's giving me that transition and um brow bone that i need for the previous one which is juicy velvet like this one cannoli that's very pretty um and this temptation that's pretty I actually have not seen reviews on these, but like for about, it was a little, I want to say it was either a little over $30 because the invoice doesn't say. It was a little bit over $30 or $40, but I felt like it was like free shipping at $30, $35, something like that. But for four palettes and a setting spray, a nice size setting spray, I think that's a good deal. And I'm willing to take a chance on that. Let me give you size comparison to... Oops, the setting spray. Okay. Oops. Oops, it's not higher though. So, this is the Morphe spray. And that's that. Let me see what I was trying to get, like, something like. I know a lot of people probably have. Oh, this is a primer spray. This is a wet and wild. I didn't I thought that was a setting spray. Didn't even open it yet, but that's the size comparison. And let me try this. This is a cover FX spray. And size comparison so oops that's that so that's it for this little haul and I'm trying to find a place to put all this stuff okay and I'm gonna catch you girlies in the next video bye